Hey, what's going on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this may end up. Uh, I am in Nacimiento and you better have four wheel drive to get up this fucking road where I'm at. Holy crap. That's nothing. That's nothing. The whole road looks more. That's nothing. Actually, I can go further up than I am here. Shit, this is easy. Anyway, I am here in Nacimiento. Oh, there's a the road. Oh, see all the holes and pits and shit. It's not that far, but it was pretty rough. But uh, I'm in Nascimento, which is an amazing old copper mine here in northern New Mexico. It's pretty well known, and unless you get four-wheel drive, you're not getting back here anyway. Um, it is National Forest Land. Yeah. So we're good. And um, actually, I might move my truck over to this spot. It's a little better right here. Yeah, it's across from the water, though. I like that water. But that's a nice little camp campground right there anyway i'm here looking for copper stuffs namely petrified wood replaced by copper minerals so imagine if you would a piece of petrified wood you know like a tan or a brown color that has been turned green and blue and purple and black by copper minerals and magnesium and that's what i'm here looking for there's just all kinds of other uh, cool shit here is this is a lot of pegmatite here and pegmatites produce some really awesome uh, Minerals not every pegmatite is you know gonna be gem producing um, but uh, a lot of them are and I'm not drinking it Because uh, it's you know muddy as fuck, but that's a really cool little crick to have right here especially you know being out here in the desert with Gwen and I only have uh, uh, like four gallons of water for the next few days. So this really helps. Oh, wow, look at all those pegs over there. So pegmatite, pegmatite. Here, let me give you an example of what granite pegmatite is. It's a type of granite. and can be usually identified by not only, A, the pink coloration, but the presence of the quartz and the um, uh, feldspar that's in here. This is a good piece. This is a little bit better of an example. See the feldspar? It's kind of those purplish pink looking stuff. Here, here's a good piece. So you can see the feldspar, okay? And then the quartz, and then the pink, which is manganese. And that's why this stuff makes such cool gems is because of the manganese. Whoa, what is that? You see that green? Oh, oh, hold on. I gotta look over my glasses, I'm getting old. Ah, oh, so that's some chalcosite. Chalcosite, chalcopyrite are very similar, um, and they're both copper minerals, but generally chalcosite is, um, you know, found in, in other stuff versus chalcopyrite is its own uh, mineral, metal. Mineral and metal, I guess. <laughs> Not I guess, I know. It is a mineral and a metal together. Um, and it's really awesome stuff. Also known as peacock ore, peacock rocks. And over here is... The creek. That road was only bad for a little while, shit. But yeah, wow, look at all this peg. All this pegmatite right here. So I can tell you right now that I've already seen some indicators of silver. And obviously we have some quartz right here. And uh, that'll be really cool. And so, yeah, there's, uh, all kinds of sh whoa! What is this? What is this? Oh, some slag. So slag is what happened after they smelted stuff back in the olden days. Gwen, get over here. Um, before they had super efficient um, smelters. Here's another piece. So basically, this is all the stuff that floated to the surface of the smelter when they were smelting the metal. Gwen. Dog, ignore me. Get over here. Um, so yeah, that's what that is. Slag is cool. Sometimes you'll get it and they'll be like gold or silver or purple or blue, you know. Um, but I've never been to this mine before until you, I was here yesterday for a few hours and um, found some really cool stuff. Some uh, uh, some of the petrified wood with the, the green and the black. Absolutely. Just smaller pieces and I think mainly bark. Yeah, yeah, look at all this 
slag here. Ooh, is that? Yep, no, that's more slag. I thought that might have been, uh, what do you call it? Uh, some mahogany obsidian. I don't know if you could see that. That red, maybe not. This is really cool. This has got a lot of iron oxide in it. So this slag is actually attractive because it's like a super, super brick red color along with the black around it. So it's really neat. Oh, it looks like the crick. Oh, and see, this is even better. So now that I know it's coming from over here, see, whoosh, I know that it's not coming from here. So if I actually needed to, I could drink that. Um, not that I was letting the dog, you know, drink poison water, uh, but their systems are a little bit better equipped to handle that kind of stuff than ours is. And uh, I was concerned that it was a little bit of runoff coming off the mine, but it does not seem to be the case. Man, this is cool. I could live out in a place like this. <laughs> I do love Florida, but man, I'll tell you, the desert is an amazing place. Gwen, come here. She's looking for bunnies. That's her stees. She got a lot of stuff washing down too from up there. A little chunk of quartz, just white bull quartz we call it, or milky quartz, massive quartz. It's got some epido in it. Really, really neat area here. Really cool. A lot of slag too. So this, I'm, I guess I'm on dumps right here still. So this must have been the dumps to the mine or part of them, or they were doing more up that way, which it kind of looks like they were right there. See the face? God, I love these trees. I could live in the mountains of the desert like this. I just couldn't live in the desert, desert, desert. Ah. Oh. And that's my favorite smell in the world. You know, in the very beginning of spring when stuff starts to warm up and you get that pine tree smell? You know what I'm talking about? The pine tree scent? That is my steez. And uh, I love it. I just got a fat whiff of it. So I just totally got all, ah. Uh, yeah. I don't even need weed when I feel like this. Although I did run out of cigarettes yesterday. And that sucks. That's more slag, in case you're wondering. But I got some more. Um, thank God for... Thank God for my friends who are my family looking out for my dumb ass half of the time. Buying rocks even though I know they don't have to. And then some some of my friends send me money sometimes when they can afford to. And that's, whew, you know, family and friends, brothers and sisters out there. That's what it's all about, man. Friends and family. And if you don't got really family like I don't, you know, I don't get along with most of my family. And I'm over trying to make... Uh, any kind of peace or connections with them at this point. So my friends are my family. You know, the people that I've met on my adventure called life. Wow, this is a really cool piece of slag. Super shiny. You shouldn't lick rocks. And I know I shouldn't lick rocks either. But it's slag. And uh, see, it's cool, shiny a little bit there. Slag, so it's not a big deal. Gwen, come here. But, you know, it's it's a, a bad habit to get into because, you know, there are those rocks out there. If you lick them, they can poison you. And I almost did it to myself, which is why I really don't lick too many rocks anymore. Um, a piece of orpiment. I went to go lick a piece of orpiment. And my buddy was like, no! And he smacked it out of my hand. Whoa, what is this? Whoa, okay. This is a really neat piece of quartz. Gwen, come here. See it here? Almost, I almost thought it was an arrowhead at first. And I wouldn't be surprised to find them out here. Um, but yeah, really cool place. Oh, I'm stoked to be here. So I'm going to be here for the next few days, actually. Like making camp and everything. I already got my milk and perishables into the creek there where it's cold and whatnot. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, see silver. Okay, so you, I don't know if we'll see it. Let me flip the camera. Can you see the silver sheen? The silver on, there we go. See it? 
See the silver flash right there? It's kind of tough to see, but it's there. This is uh, definitely silver ore right here. Big chunk of silver ore. It's got a bunch of silver in it. And uh, Garniferous rock as well, it looks like. Yeah, Garniferous stone. This stuff actually really cabs up nice, and it's got some really cool lines and stuff in it. So, it looks like, yeah, Garniferous stone. Gar Garnet's here. What else? Quartz, feldspar, silver, and, uh, you know, I know that they were, Gwen, let's go! I know that they were digging copper here, but they were also getting silver and lead and gold. So, that's what we got going on right now, right now. Silver, lead, and gold. Some neat pieces. Wow, look at these pieces of pegs. Gorgeous. It's a shame pegmatite isn't really worth anything. <laughs> I'd collect them a bit. Um, although in Florida, I bet you I could probably sell a piece of, a couple pieces of pegmatite just because of how pretty it is and how unique it is, and it's not in Florida. I love New Mexico. I love this state. I love the Southwest. God, I love the Southwest. If it was just a little cheaper in some of the places that I would really want to live, I would live here in New Mexico. And I got some friends with properties that I can go and hang out at. But the only place I would really want to go and chill would be my buddy's place up in Timberon. And that's going to be tough because there's <coughs> zero Gwen! zero uh, service up there. So in order for me to make money, I'd have to drive that road every single day to get here, to get down into town. Oh yeah, here's a cool piece. Got some silver, some gold color in it the slag so yeah if there's slag all through here that means they were mining and smelting all around here this is a really cool spot i'm really happy to be here this campsite actually i think is the one that i really want put my truck in right here yeah but i got a pretty cool spot over here too that i'm kind of satisfied with so we'll just leave it Anyway, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'll get some more video once I start finding more of that uh, petrified wood with the copper in it. Here's some magnesium on a little piece of copper oxide. See the green and then the black? Black is magnesium. So uh, magnesium is what you're going to find that's going to turn your stuff black. Uh, manganese is what's making all this pink in the pegmatite and in the ground here. And, uh, yeah, it's really cool. Oh, I love geology. Minerals. And I'm also just in a good mood today. Ironically, it was a rough morning. I woke up and I had one and a half cigarettes left and $2.28 in my account. And zero gas. I have really, come on, what? I have no idea how I actually even made it this far on the gas that I put in there. I was running on hope. And uh, it got me all the way into town after I parked last night, yesterday. And uh, and then I ran out of water, which was the big thing. You know, you can't fucking run out of water, dude. That's just uncool. So I started to go up this morning from where I was at. I'm kind of glad I didn't, because now I'm here. But uh, I started to go up this morning from where I was at, and then I just didn't feel it. Like I was like woozy and weak and tired and dizzy. And uh, turns out I was really fucking dehydrated. And uh, Sorry, let me turn. So there's the old mine. See all that? All of that's the old mine. Boom, boom. And I could go through here. I'm just not gonna. But yeah, that's all the old mine. See my milk in the creek. <laughs> Actually, I should probably get something on that to keep it down or something over it so it won't get too warm in the sun, huh? What do I got? What do I got? But anyway, yep, that's the mine. So I'm gonna be going cross and into it and up there first and then i'll make my way around walk over here i did i do see some green and blue spilling out of the earth over here so i'm pretty sure that that's good good area for it too so anyway yep good stuff huh guys appreciate you all my video and uh um whoa so see i can't tell if that's a mosquito or a fly i really hope it's just a fly I'm out of DEET. I got a skeeter net, but I'm really hoping it's just a fly. Um, yeah, so I appreciate you guys.
looking at my uh, YouTube page. All the new subscribers. Hey, guys. CJ, you're cool, bro. You're, you've been talking to me one of the longest. Uh, Kariana, it's a pleasure to meet you and uh, talk to you as well. And I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Uh, remember, stay out of the way of the stupid people and uh, live your lives. I will catch you all later. Oh, yeah. My favorite Aussie Lemonade Monster. Oh, so fucking good. Peace.